So today, I, uh, today actually, I saw this article and it was a conspiracy about dogs. Um, and it, it sort of pissed me off. <laughs> it sort of pissed me off and it sort of intrigued me and it started like getting me thinking. Um, does anyone know the Stockholm Syndrome? Give me a definition of the Stockholm Syndrome. Wait, I know this. Well, you fall in love with your cat. It's when you are like... Um kidnapped yeah. and you start relating oh, yeah. to your kidnappers yeah you could even fall like in love them, with them. loving them yeah so they're saying there's this conspiracy theory that dogs have some sort of stockholm <gasps> syndrome uh-huh. which which made me upset and i thought about our dogs right away and i said am i just conditioning this guy to feel captured and like you know how they say it takes about two three years before the dog breaks and he yeah. becomes calm. Is he just like all of a sudden just accepted his fate? <gasps> and it really broke my heart. Wait, what was this? Was Why this did study? you bring this to the podcast? I hate you. We're not friends because anymore. I'm, it's, I'm, 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 what a shit. I, I it's only conspiracy theory. Dog. It's only conspiracy theory because um, the, the other train of thought Sounds was so like, good. yeah. Um, when you, when the dog, if a dog's at your, um, if for example, if you've got a family dog and you leave, like let's say you leave the house, right? And the dog stays at the family house and then you only visit it once, once a week and you come and the dog's so happy to see you, right? Mm-hmm. I don't know. That was That's the other argument. That's probably because it's been lonely for like with nothing. Well, I don't know. I just, I don't, I don't want, I wanted isn't to know the same, what Isn't that the same about. as when you have a human in solitary confinement and then... <laughs> They finally come to let, like, come to see them. Like, you'd also yeah. be excited because you're like, oh, ah, yeah. people, interaction. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like Why? this. Oh, now I feel awful. Too, it makes too much sense. <laughs> it, uh, it's making me annoyed. <laughs> I know. Now I'm literally like, feel awful. Well, like, I wanted to bring it to the podcast so that you could, like, fight me. Like, oh. tell me that I'm wrong okay, about right, this I've got you. I've got you. Okay, I've tell me. You. You're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that is horrible. But, You're an asshole. But. <laughs> this is horrible. <laughs> but. but this... And you just ruined everyone's lives. Uh... If dogs are going to be, in this instance, the prisoner. Yeah. If they're going to be the prisoner, they're going to be a prisoner anyway. I'm going to give them a better prison to live in. I'm yes. going to make them That's as comfortable right. as they're going to have a good experience. Like, I've got the Norway prison, not the American prison. Got you. Oh, that's right. the way. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Wait, isn't prison prison? I don't know. So if that only helps, that means but... you should only get rescued rescued dogs there. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, because if they're bred, they're still there. Like they still exist. Yeah, but the only yeah, people prison breed them is the people, people that want to shop. Demand. Buy yeah. No, but it's the same. You know what? I mean, you should get this. It's the same as your logic for eating fish. If it's but already is, there, is it, it's like if I if if a breeder's already got a bred dog. Oh, you mean like yeah, if Deb's mum sells already the fish exists. If he can't sell that dog, does he then breed again when he can't sell that first dog? But if he can't sell that first dog, what does he do to it? I don't Probably know. Probably not as good a life as I In the long run, he's, he just keeps breeding dogs. It's like, a, it's... I don't think the logic is flawed if you're saying that buying breeded dogs doesn't encourage breeding dogs. Oh no no! It I'm not. Does. No, I'm not saying it doesn't encourage it. Yeah. But I'm just saying, mm. if it already exists, it already exists. You can get. You can still give it a better life than it would have otherwise. Mm. I I I like. I personally I, don't I think I'm anymore. going to stop Aww. dog breeding all by myself. <laughs> yeah, I yeah I I did not like hearing this. I don't like. This is yeah. like a sad. It is. But I actually feel enlightened. So okay, what are you, gonna- you know what? Let's let's take a conspiracy and let's run with it to make it nonsense. Isn't that? <laughs> couldn't you argue it's the exact same thing for for humans? A huh? Is couldn't you argue it's the same thing for humans in terms yeah, of like Emma's kids, kids with their parents? <laughs> like as much as they're your parent, you're still stuck with them. Like you don't have a choice. You oh. can't go. Oh, I prefer Jim's dad. I'm going to go live with them from now on. Like. <laughs> no, but the difference being is that's all you've known since you were born. So, whereas the puppy's been with its oh, mom, so it's okay. with, its, with its siblings, <laughs> and then we've ripped it away from them or from Johnny. So, so, if a baby's born into solitary confinement, then it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> 
Wait, what? I'm nah. so confused. But I don't like no, this. I'm, Come on, I'm trying, I'm trying to take the logic to the extreme so we can dismiss it, basically. But you know what? This, is, this isn't even just saying, oh, it's a conspiracy. This, this is saying new research has shown that. Nah, it's still conspiracy. If it's a conspiracy, still then conspiracy? it's not fact yet. And if it's I'm not gonna, fact, I like, can live. I wouldn't get a dog for those reasons, basically. Just for like that? I might have a rest and i wouldn't get a dog if i lived in the city for sure because i couldn't give it any sort of thing but the thing is like dogs have evolved now to be with humans yeah so yeah it's like the i don't know like they of all the animals they're the animals that you can say would be okay with humans and not feel like a prisoner mm. but the way we use dogs today is different to the way we used to use dogs yeah like and then the way you split up a family of dogs when they're born, like the idea that you just take a puppy away from its family and say you're now mine and we're your family. To me, that just seems pretty crazy. So yeah. I don't like this. <laughs> give yeah. a, we're gonna give the dog back. We we'll give back to the owner. We want a refund. You can have your dog back. But they're just you they're the different owner. to because we so forced evolved them like how we, how they've evolved with humans like they've actually have evolved with humans yeah there's lots of animals that co-evolved with other animals like mm. fleas that eat certain blood dogs yes. certain animals sort of thing like a lot of people co-evolved so we have co-evolved with dogs so there is a space for dogs to be with humans yeah but how, that space has obviously changed as it's gone through where it used to be more protection or that kind Working of stuff dog. too so now it's just about so maxi good. maxi actually brought a good point like the working dogs and stuff so how about like how about the blind dogs and stuff so they they're they're good right like even if we train them to be a certain like that's all right right like you know what i mean <laughs> like that's a i think what you're saying is you're happy for a, as long as a dog seems happy and also like what you're comparing like the stockholm syndrome and stuff we're we're sort of projecting how humans emotions work onto dogs right oh, yeah, this is so true. it's saying like uh, do we have the same feelings like does the dog care that it's being captive or is it just a dog is just like i want food i want water and i want to feel yeah. some sort of love and yeah. that's it like do they do they crave freedom in the same way we crave freedom mm. not that we have freedom but we we like the sense we like to feel like we have it well like if, if i if dogs have the same feelings as humans and of course like what we're doing is wrong but dogs aren't humans there's something else well, if I, I left a, if I left the gate open 100%, he won't come back. <laughs> he did. Oh, it okay. happened. Oh, then, no. Then he would come back. But I think it's lost. <laughs> the last line of this, or one of the lines says, so just remember, your dog doesn't love you. It's psychologically damaged. <gasps> that was the worst thing. That's actually the worst oh. part of the article. When I read that, I went, asshole. <laughs> you ruined my day. Like, that was a, like... And then I was just, I was just thinking about him all the time. Yeah, this is not nice. Who's who this bloody hater? <laughs> bloody Paul. This bloody Paul. <laughs> was, See what you've done, hey, Max. Don't assume Paul. it might have been a Kim. <laughs> I didn't bring this up. Well, no, Paul. 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 Oh, Paul. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, cool. This is bloody Paul. <laughs> I like it. Oh, it is oh. Kim. He doesn't look like he's been captured. Nah. <laughs> He's look, he looks like CJ. It's a she. Is he, gonna, he does. Is he, gonna, look, he does. Oh, she, my bad. she. She does look like CJ. Oh, with the beard. Oh, oh. She. She looks like she's about to start talking. Yeah. <laughs> men in black. Yeah. The men in black. Oh dog. yeah. yeah. Frank, this. Whenever I see a pug, I call him Frank. <laughs> so You're cute. Not a You're Frank. 